Alright, so I've had obvious tool codes at Ultralight now for about a month now. I've been using it for a few weeks before and after the Christmas break. I want to go through now and just do a video showing how I'm running the setup. I've changed around a little bit where I've kept all my tools. I've customised it to how I like it, and uh, this is a tool setup I've got at the moment doing a bit of a frame and renovation job. I'm needing quite a few tools on me, so this is a good bout where I can still fit in a fair bit of tools and still have it nice and light so I can climb over the roofs in the frame. Alright, so we'll start on the dominant side. Straight up, you can see I'm using the Boss Hammer. I've been using this hammer for a bit over a year now. I'm a good fan of it. On the same side, I've got my nippers sitting in the back and my tinnies at the front. I've also got a pencil in there and then also a pen, just in case I need to use that. Now, the non-dominant side is where I've got most of the tools, most of the weight. The only concern I have with this is I am using the titanium hammer meaning that this side is really light and we've got a lot more weight on that side. So I do feel the weight kind of pushing over a little bit to my left. I normally do use the suspenders and I always recommend them. Being in summer at the moment, we have actually been up on the roof, tops off most of the days when the sun has actually been out. We've had a really poor summer so far in Melbourne, so today is like 20 degrees max. Yesterday was 31 degrees, you can't really judge it. But I've just taken the suspenders off and I've left them in my car. And it's actually light and it's comfortable, so I haven't minded it too much, to be honest. All right, this side here, we can see I've got my tape stacked up at the top. Below it, pushed aside, is we've got the speed square. In the same couch as the speed square, and it's kind of helping push the speed square out as well. Because I've got a shifter in there. The shifter's there because there's been a lot of bolts that we're doing, an odd bolt here and there. I'd rather just use a shifter to tighten it off and not run down and get an injector and the sockets there. Um, you can also see we've got ourselves our cat's claw, our chicken's foot, and that's in the other sheath on this side, which is going down behind the tool belt. Uh, there's a section in the middle here. If you're familiar with obvious tool codes design, they've got little little sleeves for you to put drill bits in. So I do have my spade bits in here, and I do have a bugle bit and a flipsy bit in there too, easy to reach. In between those as well is where I'm keeping my framers at the moment. There, I've got a pouch at the back, I'll get to that in a second, but that's made for the framers. I'll, I'll show you what I've done with that one. Then we've got three separate pouches on this side too. Got myself a chisel, a small little level. This has been really good for the parapets. I keep checking it like every five minutes, making sure that bubble's reading true both ways. I don't completely trust it. Um, and there's a third sleeve in here too, which I actually have empty at the moment. Down here is the remains of my permanent marker. I normally have a permanent marker hooked on here, but that broke. But on this side here, we've got myself a knife, another pencil, and then also a nail punch. It's good, I do have the pencil on this side, tape on that side, so I can theoretically pull out both at the same time. But there have been instances where I do want to pull out a pencil on my left hand and quickly mark something. So I'm quite well equipped with having a pencil on both sides that I can go to. The last pouch is this thing at the back here. This is one I can actually clip off. I've gone over it on my other channel on the review and actually showing how tight that clip is though. So it hasn't fallen off. I've knocked it on trusses. Uh, well, we're not using trusses here, but I've knocked it on beams and it hasn't fallen off. So this little couch here, we've got firstly my chalk line in there. I do have soft, I do have clouts below the chalk line. So when I need to use the clouts, I've taken the chalk line out and just set it in that nail about there. So that's now blocking the framing nails. But I never need, I never need clouts and frames at the same time. So I'm happy just to move the chalk line between the two pouches to free up whatever nails I need. In the back there too, we've got a little sleeve. This is where the framers are meant to go. On that little sleeve though, it's just a perfect storage, and that's where I keep my phone. And that's how I'm running at this ultralight, obvious tool code tool belt, doing this framing renovation job.